While certain slip-ups during celebrity interviews are understandable, there are some questions that just don't need to be asked, and we applaud these celebs for not being afraid to call out some of their interviewers. What kind of interview is this? Taylor Swift We've seen Taylor take a lot of mess in her time as an artist, but she's always known how to shake it off and does a pretty good job at letting rude or tone-deaf comments roll off her back. But that's a little bit harder to do in an interview. And that was pretty much the case of the 2015 Grammys. There was a comment made from the Entertainment Tonight reporter that Taylor just wasn't there for. You're gonna walk home with more than maybe just a trophy tonight. I think lots of men. We're glad to see that she rightfully stood her ground. I'm not gonna walk home with any men tonight. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go hang out with my friends. Ariana Grande Ariana is no stranger to being open about her feelings with her fans. And she's the same way when she's being asked inappropriate questions on the air during an interview. If you know anything about Ariana, you're well aware that she's always been big on women's rights and equality. And during a 2015 interview with LA Power 106, she was asked if she would either choose to use her makeup or her phone one last time. Her response was pretty perfect. Is this men assuming that that's what girls would have to choose yes. between? No. The same could be said for her response to being asked what her favorite emoji was. You need a little brushing up on equality over here. <laughs> Ultimately, she decided that she didn't want to hang out with Power 106 anymore, and we'll say we agree with that choice. Rihanna the year 2012 was a big one for Rihanna. She released her unapologetic album, won her sixth Grammy, and even starred in a feature film called Battleship. It was also rumored that she'd been spending a lot of time with one Ashton Kutcher, though this had nothing to do with the film. But when Rihanna was in London promoting her movie, this didn't stop one reporter from bringing up Rihanna's personal life in the wrong space. Wow, how disappointing was that question? Oddly enough, this hasn't stopped many reporters from asking about her love life when Rihanna clearly wants to talk about business. But as you can probably imagine, Rihanna's never afraid of telling interviewers how she really feels. I'm not looking for a man. Let's start there. Simone Biles if we've learned anything about Simone in the time that she's been in the media, it's that the woman is a force to be reckoned with if there ever was one. As someone with over 30 combined Olympic and World Champion medals, she's one of the most decorated gymnasts out there, at only 24 years old. So it makes sense that Simone doesn't exactly have the time to worry about putting on a pretty smile every time she's on screen. And on a 2017 episode of Dancing with the Stars, I was waiting for you to smile at some of the compliments, you didn't. She let a report know just that. She's very smiling medals. doesn't win you gold medals. Uh oh. Okay. Cara Delevingne. Cara is clearly just as hilarious as she is talented, but there are some who don't exactly see her that way. And it makes sense that the people in question are interviewers who may not have had the right prep questions for Cara's interview. In a 2015 interview with Good Morning Sacramento, Cara sat down to discuss her latest film, Paper Towns. Did you get a chance to read it or do you even have time to sit and read? <laughs> These days you're so busy. While her sense of humor is known to be sarcastic, uh, no, I never read the book or the script, actually. I kind of winged it. Things went right over the news anchor's heads. Everything. I thought sarcastic. she was being sarcastic on purpose. I thought it was trying to, she was trying to be funny. But then... so. Nicki Minaj. We're not sure why this is, but it seems like ever since Nicki started making it big, and probably even before then, people just haven't been able to let the woman breathe. There are a lot of people, some interviewers in particular, that just seem to want to test her or get a rise out of her. And some of this can be seen on a podcast episode that was uploaded by Joe Budden TV in 2019. Nicki Minaj, not. you did not get bullied for 12 years Have you ever been? Have you have ever not. been? With people constantly talking over Nikki and her continuously defending herself just being a successful woman with people who hate on her, you can easily see the frustration. What? Me? Yes, you! 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 Paris Hilton there are times during some interviews where reporters ask questions that are invasive or inappropriate, and it calls for a celebrity to swiftly shut down said question. There are other times when the audacity is just too much to handle, and some celebs just choose to leave. And this was the case for Paris Hilton during a 2011 interview with ABC News' Dan Harris. Do you ever worry about your moment having passed? While Dan may have taken this as a superficial celebrity not wanting to answer questions, constantly being compared to another friend in the industry, which still happens way too often, by the way, has got to be infuriating. You wanna wrap up? Could I, would I, was curious about one thing? Selena Gomez. 
The early 2010s were such a pivotal time for a lot of our favorite celebs today because most of them were still teenagers. And being a celebrity at that age comes with its fair and not-so-fair share of complexities. One of them being that interviewers aren't so lenient with asking invasive questions about the past that they don't think young celebs will take issue with. But in this 2013 interview where Selena was asked about her ex at the time, Justin Bieber, Selena was having none of it. What is it that he's not getting uh, out there? Nicole Scherzinger Yes, it's true. The actress and former Pussycat Dolls lead vocalist is gorgeous. But her good looks are only one aspect of her. And there are some interviewers who need to be reminded of that. In 2011, Conan O'Brien could have used a refresher course on where to look when speaking to a guest on your show. But leave it to Nicole to promptly remind him where his eyes needed to be. Focus, Conan, to be, um, <laughs> Laverne Cox it was truly an iconic moment in 2014 when Laverne Cox graced the cover of Time magazine with a cover article titled The Transgender Tipping Point. This was before we had shows like Pose, and Orange is the New Black was huge when it came to trans representation in the media. But in a 2014 interview with Wendy Williams, that's not exactly what Wendy wanted to talk about. You've got breast implants. Thankfully, Laverne swiftly educated Wendy on what was and what wasn't appropriate to focus on when having trans guests on the show. I don't talk about that, but I'm, I'm very happy with the situation. Scarlett Johansson when Avengers was released in 2012, fans were ecstatic, and that's putting it lightly. But amongst all the hype about the film, there were some interviews that just went south when the cast was doing promo for the film. Jerry Penicoli, a reporter from Extra, seemed enthusiastic about interviewing the cast, but the questions he had for Scarlett didn't really have much to do with her career or the development of her character at all. Now, were you able to wear undergarments? Though he definitely tried to justify his questions. Keyword, tried. To ask somebody what kind of underpants they were? I didn't ask you what kind. You just asked me if I was wearing any. Anne Hathaway. The Dark Knight was such a great film, and the sequel, The Dark Knight Rises, was also gaining a ton of attention. Unfortunately, Anne's performance also caught the attention of an interviewer from Extra who just happened to ask all the wrong questions. Not surprisingly, this was Jerry, again, the same person who asked about Scarlett Johansson's underwear. To make sure you were in perfect shape for this one, didn't you? But this time, he seemed obsessed with Anne's fitness routine and her remaining in perfect shape. Any particular workout? Are you trying to lose weight? Well, like, <laughs> what's, what's the deal, man? You look great. Kiki Palmer. One thing that Kiki could easily pride herself on is her authenticity and her ability to stay true to herself even when she's put in an uncomfortable situation. And who better than Wendy Williams to do just that? Wendy briefly called Kiki out on her show for how she handled being pressured into being in a Trey Songz music video, alluding to the idea that she should have expected to be filmed. In a later episode, Kiki went on the show and addressed what Wendy told her audience. In true Kiki fashion, she kept it real and called Wendy out herself. I Why, girl? Well, the gag is you wasn't there. Well, <sighs> Lindsay Lohan. It's safe to say that Lindsay Lohan has been used to being the butt of jokes, and she's not new to hearing people talk about her stays in rehab. But that definitely doesn't make those comments any less painful, especially when they're made by your interviewer on TV and broadcast to millions of people. In 2013, David Letterman was persistent on asking Lindsay evasive questions about her history of using substances. How many times have you been in rehab? Several. And believe us when we tell you, watching the whole thing go down is as cringy as it sounds. We didn't discuss in the pr this in the pre-interview. Yeah. Rita Ora. If you've made it to this point in the video, then you'll probably notice a theme here of interviewers being much more interested in the scandals and love lives of celebrities instead of the work that they're there to promote. And this isn't a new phenomenon, but it can be infuriating to deal with and even to witness. Rita Ora's answer? Cut the interview short and get out of Dodge. And that's exactly what happened in 2014 when an interviewer completely switched gears and started asking about her relationship with Calvin Harris instead of her music. Calvin Harris and not really some of your stuff. Thank you. Bye. Blake Lively. 
Contrary to what the older rendition of the show Gossip Girl may have portrayed, Blake Lively in person isn't just a girl obsessed with fashion. While we all love a fashion moment, when it's time to get down to the business of important issues, Blake doesn't come to play games. But one reporter may have forgotten that when she interviewed Blake at a Variety Power of Women event in 2017. Instead of asking about women's issues, she asked about Blake's outfit. As you can imagine, that was the wrong question. And that we, like, so you can ask me another question, but... Robert Pattinson while there are times to shut down a reporter or outright leave an interview when a celebrity is asked invasive questions, there are also times when your team decides to remove you from uncomfortable situations themselves. Robert's team did just that when he was doing promo for the film Twilight New Moon in 2009. When speaking to Ryan Seacrest, he was asked about his co-star Kristen Stewart and his publicist decided enough was enough. It's his co-star. It's a fair question. Naomi Campbell we're not gonna act like Naomi Campbell's outbursts are anything new, but we will say that that doesn't give reporters an excuse to ask questions that are clearly inappropriate. But that didn't stop one reporter in a 2010 interview with CBS News from asking about something Naomi just wasn't open to discussing. When the reporter continued to press the issue, Naomi decided to leave. And I'm not here for that. But not without a final nod to the person with the camera. <laughs> Britney Spears Though Britney was an iconic powerhouse in music in the late 90s and early 2000s, and still is, she received a lot of unnecessary criticism just for wearing what she wanted to wear, or daring to be provocative and feel good in her body. What happened to your clothes? And in a 2003 interview with Diane Sawyer, Britney wasn't afraid to let Diane know that the criticism was unfair and uncalled for. What is it about? Yeah. It's about doing a, a, a beautiful picture. Lady Gaga. Like Ariana Grande and countless other celebrities who are constantly being talked about in the media, Lady Gaga has zero tolerance for double standards or making wrongful generalizations about women. And this isn't new news. Gaga's fight for equality started years ago. In a resurfaced interview from 2009, when an interviewer asked her if her being provocative with her body in her music videos would take away from her music, she gave the best response anyone could ask for. Because I'm a female, because I make pop music, you are judgmental. Honestly, the audacity of some of these reporters is beyond me. But kudos to our favorite celebs for holding them accountable and refusing to take any mistreatment. But now that the cringe of some of these awkward celebrity interview moments is over, what are your thoughts on today's video? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like this video and subscribe to The Thing Celebrity for more.